Hello everyone. Welcome to EA Secret. There were significant developments in the political, economic, cultural and other fields in the world in 2022. Events that happened in the world, from the war in Russia, Ukraine, to the death of Queen Elizabeth and Argentina winning the World Cup. Anti-government protest in Kazakhstan, demonstrations started in the west of Kazakhstan on January 2 on the grounds of hikes in liquefied petroleum gas LPG, and the worsening socio-economic situation in the country, have spread to other parts of the country. Protesters attacked government buildings in Kazakhstan's largest city of Almaty, setting cars and buses on fire. Kazakh President November Generous Tokayev accepted the resignation of the government, which he blamed for the protests. As a result of the spread of protests, a state of emergency was declared throughout the country on January 5 to 19. In the incidents, 225 people lost their lives in 10 days. National mourning was declared on January 10 due to those who lost their lives in the events that turned the protests into clashes throughout the country. ISIS leader Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Qurayshi was killed. U.S. President Joe Biden announced that U.S. forces killed ISIS leader Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Qurayshi during an operation in Syria. Longest Distance Walk on Mars The Perseverance rover expedition vehicle sent by the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Agency made the longest distance walk on Mars with 245.76 meters. Russia, Ukraine War Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the launch of a special military operation in the Donbass in eastern Ukraine on February 24. So the Russian-Ukrainian war began. Martial law and general mobilization were declared in Ukraine. On February 25, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky signed a decree declaring a nationwide general mobilization. The United Nations reported that more than 100,000 civilians were displaced after Russia's military intervention in Ukraine. Reacting to Russia's military intervention in Ukraine, a large number of countries lined up decisions on sanctions against Russia, evicted their own citizens from the country and expelled Russian diplomats from their territories. The Ukrainian crisis between Russia and the West the European Parliament adopted a draft resolution supporting Ukraine's membership in the European Union at an extraordinary session on the Russian-Ukrainian war. U.S. President Joe Biden has announced that the United States has closed its airspace to all Russian aircraft due to Russia's incursion into Ukraine. The United Nations General Assembly adopted the draft resolution condemning Russia's attack on Ukraine by 141 votes to 5. The White House has decided to impose new defense sanctions on Russia and Belarus related to the Russian-Ukrainian war. COVID-19 Award to Teresi and Sahin, scientists of Turkish origin who developed the COVID-19 vaccine Professor Dr. Aslam Teresi and Professor Dr. Ur Sahin and Hungarian-born scientist Professor Dr. Katalin Kariko received the Pollerlich and Ludwig Darmstadter 2022 Award which is considered one of the most important awards in the medical world in Germany. Slapping scandal at the Oscar ceremony, British actor of Pakistani origin Riz Ahmed became the first Muslim to receive an award for his film, The Long Goodbye, in the live-action short film category. The ceremony was marked by the famous actor Will Smith slapping presenter Chris Rock on stage, who made a joke about his wife. NATO step from Sweden and Finland, Finland and Sweden have submitted their official application letters to NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg to become members of NATO. Sri Lanka defaulted, struggling with the most severe economic crisis in its history, Sri Lanka defaulted for the first time by failing to pay its overdue debt. As the anti-government protests in the country increased in violence during this period, the Ministry of Defense instructed the army to open fire on anyone who damages public property or others during the demonstrations. Decision on the status of a candidate country for Ukraine, Moldova and Bosnia and Herzegovina from the European Union, the leaders of the European Union countries decided to grant the status of a candidate country to Ukraine, Moldova and Bosnia and Herzegovina. NATO Memorandum from Turkey, Sweden and Finland, a trilateral memorandum was signed between Turkey, 
Sweden and Finland in the presence of the leaders of the three countries on the accession processes of Sweden and Finland to NATO. Assassination of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, as the election winds for the upper house blew in Japan, Shinzo Abe, the longest serving prime minister in the country, was assassinated in the chest during a speech at an outdoor event in support of the Liberal Democratic Party candidate's election campaign in the city of Nara on July 8. An official funeral ceremony was held for Abe, who died in the hospital where he was taken seriously injured, with the participation of about 700 foreign delegations on September 27. Grain Shipment Agreement While there are problems in the production and supply of wheat, one of the world's first domesticated grains, mainly due to climate change, the war in Ukraine, which is called the breadbasket of Europe, has been added to these. During the period when the war deepened the wheat crisis, the departure of the first ship from Odessa poured on. One was welcomed by many countries and international organizations thanks to the grain shipment agreement concluded between Turkey, Ukraine, Russia and the United Nations UN, on July 22. Sounds of a war between Kosovo and Serbia, it is reported that the Kosovo government postponed the decision one month, which brought the national license plate and identity application to Serbs in the country, therefore causing a crisis with Serbia. NATO's Kosovo force, K4, has announced that it is ready to intervene if stability in the north of Kosovo is endangered. On August 2, Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic said that Kosovo is not an independent country, according to international law it is part of Serbia. U.S.-China-Taiwan tensions, the plane carrying the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi and the accompanying congressional delegation decamped to Taiwan. Chinese Foreign Ministry, Pelosi's Taiwan visit, this behavior is extremely dangerous, like playing with fire. He who plays with fire burns himself, he reacted to the visit using the phrase. China, which considers the island as part of its territory, organized military exercises around the island after the visit, in which real weapons and ammunition were used. Queen Elizabeth II of England has passed away, Queen Elizabeth II of England has passed away at the age of 96 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Due to the death of the Queen, her lovers were suffocated by the law, while mourning was also declared in some countries. About 250,000 people visited Queen Elizabeth's coffin in Westminster Hall, where it was kept until the funeral ceremony. The official funeral of the second Elizabeth was held on September 19 at the historic Westminster Abbey Church with the participation of many high-ranking state officials from around the world. The Queen's body, which is stated to have died due to old age, is located in St. Petersburg at Windsor Castle. He was transferred to St. George's Chapel and buried in a private ceremony attended by family members. After the Queen's death, her 73-year-old son Charles took the throne and became the King of England. Masa Amini protests have started in Iran, the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who was taken to the hospital on September 16 after being detained by Irshad patrols known as the Morality Police on September 13 in the Iranian capital Tehran, due to disobeying the rules of hijab, led to protests against the country's government. There are statements from official sources that civilians and security forces have died in the protests and incidents that have lasted for months, but no clear information has been given about the death toll. The Iranian Human Rights Organization, headquartered in Norway, announced on November 22 that 416 people were killed in the demonstrations. The European Union has called for no violence to be used to suppress the protests on September 25 and for the public to be allowed access to the Internet. Amini's death was protested in many cities around the world. Referendums in four regions in Ukraine, the so-called Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics under the control of pro-Russian separatists in Ukraine, as well as the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions captured by the Russian army, decided to join Russia in the referendums held. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed the agreements on the annexation of these regions to Russia on September 30. However, the European Union and NATO announced that they do not recognize the referendum. Disaster on Halloween 156 people were killed in a stampede at Halloween events held in the capital of South Korea, Seoul. 
The stampede took place in the Itiwan district, one of Seoul's entertainment centers. The images of people piled on top of each other in a narrow street and trying to be brought back to life by heart massage by paramedics on the side of the road sat on the world agenda. Some of those who lost their lives were diagnosed with sudden cardiac arrest. Blood produced in the laboratory was transplanted to a person, blood produced in a laboratory environment was transplanted to a person for the first time within the scope of a clinical study. The transplant took place thanks to the study conducted by scientists from the British cities of Bristol, Cambridge and London on red blood cells that carry oxygen from the lungs to the body. Coup plotters arrested in Germany, 8 of the 25 people detained in the operation against the group planning a coup in Germany were arrested. In the raids held in many states, a detention order was issued on the charge of being a member or supporter of a terrorist organization. Former soldiers were also among those decapitated. Prisoner swap between Russia and the United States, the prisoner swap between Russia and the United States was carried out. Russia has released US women's basketball player Brittany Griner, and the US has released Russian arms smuggler Victor Bout. Argentina became the world champion, Argentina won the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, beating France 4-2 on penalties in the final. Argentina lifted the championship trophy after 36 years. Which of these events have you followed closely? I am waiting for your thoughts on these events in the comments. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.